Stay very merry this holiday season with Video Games Monthly delivered right to your door. What's inside the new Video Games Monthly subscription box? Just open it, just open it, says members of the mob. Cool your jets, if you don't mind. Video Games Monthly every single month delivers you a selection of retro video games based on your preferences. You can also head on over to VideoGamesMonthly.com not only to subscribe to the service. There I am going with my windshield wiper fingers. I don't think so. Yes, though, head on over to VideoGamesMonthly.com. You can subscribe to their service. And additionally to that, you can also update your catalog on a regular basis. Worried that you're probably going to get a double, a triple, or even more after that? Well, if you update your catalog library, that will guarantee you that the next subsequent months, you won't get the exact same title delivered right to your door. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. And if that seems tantalizing to you, wetting your whistle, if you will, then you can subscribe to the VideoGamesMonthly.com and get all this world brought to your doorstep every single, single month. I added an extra single in there. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. I'm sure I've touched base on this already. Anybody looking at this currently can see there's no seal, there's no tape, there's no giant guard dog in front of this protecting what the, would be the contents inside. Let me just brush that off and assure you that everything in, inside this box is protected without the need of a giant guard dog simply because it comes in a larger mailing bag. So nothing's been tampered with. We're all good. No knife is required. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. First thing we're getting a gander at is a VideoGamesMonthly.com 1UP card. Congratulations, you've received one free game. Thank you for being a Video Games Monthly subscriber. Video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription service. I'm wetting my whistle just the thought of what's going to be inside. Service that delivers retro video games to gamers who own classic video game systems from the 80s all the way up to 2000s. How about that? Visit our website for an up-to-date list of available systems. And make sure, again, as pre-mentioning earlier at the beginning of this review, your library must be updated seven days prior to the end of the month to ensure that you're not going to get dupies or trippies or quappies. I think the last one was a little weak. We also got ourselves another card inside. We hope you enjoy your latest box. Please update your library on the website by adding these games and any other games you may have acquired. All updates to your library must be made seven days prior to the end of the month. Astute viewers will probably notice that I mentioned, not mentioned gaming library, but it's gaming library. Uh, video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription service that delivers retro video games to gamers who own classic video game systems from the 80s all the way up to the 2000s. We already mentioned that. Also got ourselves a little playing card inside, a trading card, a business card. VideoGamesMonthly.com win three free games. How about that? Simply share a photo of this month's box on our Facebook page. Two random winners will receive three free games in next month's box. Can you beat that? I don't think you can, Jack. Down goes the card. Down goes the, the dynamite. First one we're going to have a look at. Oh, look at this. This is a Famicom title, but this is Super Mario Bros. 3. This is really cool. Now, I do have the available means to play Famicom titles, and I've never played the Famicom release of Super Mario Bros. 3. i got to wonder if it's any bit different than the regular North American release. It certainly does look the same on the front. Maybe a few things have changed. I don't really know, but we're going to certainly delve deeper into that by popping this into my next available console, and we're going to give it a try. I hope it doesn't make that sound when I put that in there. I love some of the old Famicom artwork. That's really, really cool. I'm going to put that right over there. To join along with it, while we're still on the topic of Nintendo, for the more North American end of things, we've got the game Jackal. Jackal is a, a classic game. I remember playing it all the time at my friend's house. I don't want to really think that I was the friend that used people for stuff, but it seemed as if this specific individual, we're just going to go ahead and call him Derek. That's not really his real name, but for the sake of privacy, I may have gone to Derek's house and enjoyed his lackluster jokes and his generally flat soda, possibly just so I could get some video games underway. There, I said it. I admitted it. Derek, you had flat soda. I don't know how anybody doesn't know to tighten the bottle well enough that pss, all the fizz doesn't get let out. You had flat soda, and there's nothing worse than flat soda. 
at a relatively boring guy's house. There, I said it. Boy, I feel so much better now. It's like I just, it's just like a big weight's been lifted off of my shoulders. I feel incredible. Moving along, you mad monster, you. I am. Anyways, next we're going to be having a look at the Genesis title of Mickey Mania. The Timeless Adventure of Mickey Mouse. I love getting Genesis games. Genesis was not a console I grew up with. I was more a Nintendo house. Although, to be fair, I did have the original Sega Master System before Nintendo. And I was the one that was excluded from people's houses because, well, I couldn't relate. I couldn't relate because everybody else had Nintendo and I was the guy that had the Sega Master System. And then there goes in front of me Lady Luck and the universe smiling down upon me. Derek, we'll just call him Derek, with his boring jokes and generally flat soda, let me come over to his, his house and I was welcomed into the world of Nintendo and flat soda. Okay, we'll stop talking about it. The Genesis title of Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventure of Mickey Mouse. That's pretty cool. I gotta get, want to get some more Genesis titles going on here. Before we do that, though, we also have the Flintstones. Don't have this either. Released by Ocean. I believe the same company that did the Robocop titles. Robocop vs. Terminator as well, if I'm not mistaken. Don't have this game. I can add this not only physically to my library, but I can also check that off on their website. Minus, of course, the sound effects. And I can make sure I don't get this title again. That's pretty cool. The Flintstones. The movie Flintstones actually was a pretty good film. I, I like that one. Hark. What do we have here? I'm not really sure what specifically this is. What, what What is this? It's a case. It's a cover. It opens. It folds down. Oh, could it actually be for something like if you're playing video games? Maybe this holds the controller? Maybe? That's what, I'm, that's what my guess is. This also can pop to the back here as well. I think it's a stand. What do you guys think this is? Somebody says for opening up sardine cans, you couldn't be further from the truth, mister. Get out. Get out. Yes, you can have some fizzy soda. This is the house that has fizzy soda. No flat soda happening here. I don't know what this specifically is. Maybe, again, it's for holding your controller. If you put it on a tabletop, that's what I'm guessing this is. It does have the video game's monthly little mascot down below. Gosh, I like that guy. That little tiny mascot. And it seems like we have a couple of other offerings this month's box as well. I know you certainly in the U.S. you guys have s since celebrated Thanksgiving. There's a whole lot to be thankful about in this subs this subscription box. Could certainly have gotten a lot of stuff happening this month around. We've got Need for Speed Underground 2 for the Game Boy Advance. Comes to us from EA Games. And last but certainly not least, we got Super Dodgeball Advance. Now, I'm not going to get into a very long-winded story. I certainly long-wind you guys enough with my stories. But let me just tell you, the original, I believe it was the original Nintendo or the original Game Boy, had a game called Dodgeball. And I adored it as much as a grown man could in just adore a video game. It kind of had the, kind of the sprites that looked like River City Ransom, and it was Dodgeball. I'm wondering if this is along those same lines. If it is... Color me quite interested. I'm probably going to delve into playing this one first before I even attempt to approach the other stuff that's been offered up in this month's subscription service. whole lot of stuff going on there, wouldn't you say? I would say that as well. And, uh, of course, we also got ourselves the 1UP card, so we got ourselves an extra game as well. And we got this which I think is a, some sort of controller stand. If you think you know what it is, and don't come up with ridiculous reasons, it's not for holding shoelaces, it's not for opening up a bottle of flat soda, because that's soda. That soda is not very tight anyways. A, a small child could open that up. Literally, his house was full with flat sodas. Who does that? Derek does that. Anyways, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the Video Games Monthly, it's simply a case of going to www.videogamesmonthly.com. You'll be greeted by this guy right here not offering you up flat soda. I keep beating a dead horse. Making sure as well, if you're in the generous offer of subscribing to things, make sure you subscribe to the videogamesmonthly.com and also check them out on social media. And I believe also they have a YouTube channel, so you can check them out going on as well. Make sure as well, if you are still in that generous offerings, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. There's going to be a whole lot of content coming your way, so keep your peepers peeled for that. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.